Welcome to the next Track Life Therapy video. Today we're going to talk about ultrasound therapy and in particularly the UltraVet K9 from TGS Electronics. This is a company from Australia and um, as far as I know they uh, make the best uh, Greyhound specific ultrasounds. You get ultrasounds for horses, you get them for humans. And the wattage per square centimeter on those differs wildly. So this is the safest and the best ultrasound you can use uh, for a greyhound. So to tell you some more, with this machine you can basically treat injuries that are um, in deep muscle. So anything that isn't um, bone, so we are talking about these muscles, hindquarter, um, yeah, here the shoulder, um, some parts of the neck, the lower parts, um, and the insides of the legs, of course. And it's always uh, depends also on the uh, square wattage per centimeter you use, but it. Um, it can also destroy a lot in your dog and I'll tell a little bit about that more later. For now I'm gonna treat this dog. Um, I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a warm-up let's say through the hind he is um, retired for uh, injuries he had in his hind quarters so that's what I'm gonna do with him and I'm gonna show you it and I'm also gonna show you how to test it and I'm gonna show you the power of ultrasonic waves. As you can see here, you got a wide variety of um, outlets from Australia there and from England uh, slash Ireland. And I need those, of course, because these machines come from all over the world. I only want the best ones and um, yeah, you, need to, you need to convert. So this is the adapter. It won't fit in Europe, but with an adapter like that, it will. So now I'm um, going to put the machine um, to the treatment table here because it's a little bit easier for me to work here. Uh, I got the light. I got some light from outside. So um, yeah, let's go do that. So now I've prepared everything. As you can see, I put the machine on the treatment table. I put it a little bit to the front so the dog doesn't stand on it wire the cable away so at least that isn't uh, where he get caught on he will also be stuck to there to that belt this bottle will be removed <laughs> so as you can see here I put um, the adapter on this on, on the other adapter to say and if I, this machine if you plug it in it's immediately on so I'm going to show you now. So at least the lights turn on. Um, so there's no on and off switch for that. So you have to keep it unplugged. If I would say there's a downside, then it's that. But to be fair, you don't use this machine as much. And I plug out the port to Mac too because um, yeah, the it just uses so much power even when in idle uh, position the transformator so as you can see here the lights are burning to the settings that are pushed on you have the start button here if i press this this will immediately start to work the problem with this kind of equipment is that it's really really sensitive for braking and that's because in this head here, there's a crystal. And when this surface doesn't touch, um, let's say water or something, it can vibrate through ultrasonic waves, the crystal will break. There's a security system built in um, that will make sure that after 10 seconds or what was it, 30, um, it, it can keep up, let's say for 30 seconds. But after that, it will break. So you have to always make sure that you have it already applied on the body 
of the Greyhound you want to treat before you turn on this button. Furthermore, um, yeah, um, you keep always this setting to zero, just in case somebody accidentally uh, pushes that button and that it, then it isn't on or something, you know. So I always keep this button to zero so um, it can't break accidentally. So now continue on. You probably ask yourself why I got a pan of water here. Well, I'm going to show you. This is uh, for two reasons, actually. First reason is it's to show you how it works. So I'm going to take this out now. This is the treatment part. And I'm going to show you how it works. I will submerge this because like I said before, it travels through um, water molecules. Uh, by the way, this cable is what you got to really look, watch out for. It's really long, but it cannot bend or something because it's a really uh, a special type of cable that can transmit these kinds of frequencies. And it's probably the most expensive part in the machine together with the crystal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to show you uh, what it does to the water. And before I can do that, I'm going to turn it on to the max, just like with the port Mac, just to test it out and you can see it the best. And I'm going to keep it on continuous instead of pulse. Um, the time is streaming. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to turn it off immediately after I showed it to you guys. So here we go. I've put it on now and you can see what it does to the water. It absolutely bursts it up. You see it in the corner there. This is what it does. You can see the whole pan of water vibrating from it. This is also how you can test if it still works. So I'm going to turn it off now. Now let's continue. I've showed you, I tested it. How to actually make it work? Well, with this I use TGS Sonic Gel. It's for their machine, but uh, to be honest, you can use any kind of, uh, of um, ultrasonic gel for this. Even the ones they use to check if your wife is pregnant or uh, anything, just this. And a pint of water, because I did now very much water to show you the effect of, uh, of the ultrasound. But um, you need to sponge the dog down with water first a little bit. They don't tell you this normally, but it is better if there's a layer of water on the dog already before you apply the gel, before you start with the ultrasound. Also, um, you have to really watch out, of course, with the water here and the ultrasound there. So um, I'm going to throw some water out of this because I don't need this much. And um, then I'm going to continue on and show you how to treat a dog with it. Now, we got Nero here, strapped in the treatment table. Um, the dog pretty much becomes, yeah, just stable standing there if he feels that he's tied to something like with this. So, now we're going to treat him. For this treatment, I'm going to choose for, obviously, uh, the three minutes, because uh, it's just a how-to, and uh, don't need anything more for that. And instead of continuous, I'm going to choose for pulse. It's a little bit safer, and um, uh, pulse is just uh, overall uh, better if you don't treat a major injury itself, because then continuous can be real um, yeah, handy, so to say. So I'm going to put the power on one square uh, watt per centimeter. Um, that's here. Um, because, um, yeah, that's about right for a normal treatment. Like I say, you rarely go into the three uh, watt per centimeter, per square centimeter. It's, um, 
uh, greyhounds are not really huh? thick dog. The only thing between their bones is muscle. So you gotta have the, the more muscular your dog is, you would say, the higher you can put that frequency there and um, that power. And yeah, so we're gonna show you now how to do it. So probably from before you were asking why I have this pan of water. Well, I threw out most of it. And now there's only a little bottom left in it. I have a sponge here and that's to rub in the area you want to treat. So in this case, we're going to do the hind leg. It's always important to have a towel nearby when you're busy with this stuff. Also because you need to rub the gel off immediately after you used it on the dog because it's not really good for their skin and for their fur. So this is now wet enough. Clean up the rest. And then we take the TGS Sonic Gel. And with this is basically the rule, you cannot apply uh, too much, you know? Uh, better safe than sorry, you can also say. It's, uh, it's important that, uh, that you rub it in very good. And that it's everywhere that you want to treat. And not that during treatment you go out to a point where there isn't gel or something because then uh, it's not only not good for the machine, it's also not good for your dog. Uh, so we take in everything here. So this is good rubbed in. You gotta make sure whole, the fur is soaked so it transmits the waves good. You can clean your hands with this. And if this wasn't my dog, I would of course muzzle him because you don't know huh, how dogs can be. So, uh, but that's not the case, <laughs> luckily. So now we're gonna really ultrasound him. The leg that needs to be done. These are one of the best muscles to go and ultrasound. So I've chosen the options before. Put the head onto the dog and push the start button. And you will hear it. So, most dogs really enjoy this. And what's important is here that you make sure you keep waving techniques in the muscle and that it's just a really, really, really good rub. All the way over should hit everything with these waves. All the fibers need to be restored and you can only restore them by touching them with the waves. So the body goes to heal quicker. You can see muscles setting up immediately everywhere and that's because of the waves. So the three minutes now I've almost passed. We fast forwarded a little bit. He's really enjoying it so far. Really re repairing the acid, the acid removal huh, from the from the muscle tissue here in the back, especially after a long work day for the dog, huh? a, a big race or a coursing event or a lure coursing event. So when it's finished, the timer will do this, basically, and then you can take the head off there. What's also really important is to keep this head face always clean. It's, uh, it's uh, really a sensitive piece of equipment and it really needs to be held right. So after you finish up cleaning the dog, you should always clean up the machine too. If that makes sense. What you can do immediately after you, uh, yeah, if you're done with this, you can pull out the plug. Um, you don't need uh, power anymore here, uh, you just need to tend to the dog now. Clean him up from the jello. Just make sure there's nothing left on him. That he doesn't catch a cold on the muscle or something, when he, especially for the trainers who keep their dogs outside in cold uh, places. Or countries, I should say, you know, seasons.
So when I'm done cleaning up the dog, we release him obviously. And what most trainers do is afterwards put him in a mag box because these dogs now have had an intense treatment. And even if you hit something wrong, you can obviously make up for that damage for it. But also, it's very good to put it on a light dilation setting afterwards, so that um, everything you did basically just gets enhanced by this treatment now. Uh, also, it's a mag box. This is the only type of therapy that you could never go wrong with. It's uh, yeah, it's like uh, it's not a wonder medicine, but it comes close. So we're gonna put him here in a half an hour, also to relax from the um, ultrasound treatment and just to yeah, just to get by. That was my video from Track Life Therapy on ultrasound treatment. Um, I uh, can elaborate more and I'm also going to do that with the Mac boxes uh, in the future and also about other products as well. There's much more coming. Um, yeah, of course, I got everything that I sold you. We got the instructions here. Also, what's really handy to have is this injury detection from Casco. It's a really old version, but if you can find one somewhere, it can really help you or a beginner at least to uh, find injuries and then... Uh, to treat them with one of these two machines. So that was the Track Life Therapy vlog, the second one about ultrasound. Um, well, the dog is done with uh, his treatment in here, so we can let him out now. Um, a few things I still want to stress. I told you a few times in the video how it can be dangerous to operate this machine and why I put it on pulse instead of continuous. Well. That's basically because you can burn muscle with it. It uh, vibrates so fast and it penetrates so deep into the muscle. If you do it on bone, you can actually fracture it with it. And um, also, yeah, you can burn muscles on the inside and you can do a lot more damage than, than good uh, with this kind of machine if you don't know what you're doing. So always um, yeah, try at least to be helped by someone who knows what he's doing and don't go ultrasound uh, your dog's spine or, or something like that because that wouldn't be smart um, well that was our vlog for now um, I want to say till next time till the next vlog